Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Dr. Bonsai at Dr. Bonsai's Meme Emporium. Rumors of my demise have been greatly exaggerated. Uh, I took a little bit of a break, mostly because there's just not, not been anything to talk about. So I've just been kind of on the quiet, uh, just kind of doing my own thing, uh, focusing on my life and my kids. Um, clearly haven't been painting anything, waka waka. Um, but uh, this came out, and I think the, the great, the great, we're on the other side of the great desert of no Battletech content since uh, all the new Kickstarter stuff is going to be uh, hitting fairly soon-ish, um, as well as some other stuff that's going to be direct to retail releases that aren't going to be uh, tied to the Kickstarter release. So, one of the eyeballs that popped up is this, Battletech Encounters. Now, um, it's funny because you, you're like, huh? This is something they talked about during the Kickstarter. Why is this? Why is this hitting retail before the Kickstarter backers get it? Apparently, Catalyst didn't read the contract with their distributor. <laughs> uh, they did a big uh, post about it on their on the Kickstarter page for the uh, Mercenaries Kickstarter, uh, basically saying, "Hey, you know, we didn't realize our distributor had this thing with Barnes and Noble, which is where I got this Barnes and Noble." Um, that would allow us that meant that people at retail got first crack at, would get first crack at it before Kickstarter backers so um, you know just catalyst being catalyst and their borderline amateur behavior um, so what we've got here is a push your light your luck dice game now I'm not a card game player never have been um, I've never played Magic, I've never played Pokemon, you know, I collected the cards, but I never played it, but, so I don't know what any of this it means. So you've got one to eight, so this is actually a solo game, you got pretty dice, you got 36 contract cards, equipment cards, encounter cards, eight oversized combat command cards, noble patronage token, sea bill token, reputation, five white dice, 16 colored dice, um rule book and universe primer so uh i got this for 29.99 at uh barnes and noble um i uh, all you need to do is go to barnesandnoble.com uh find your nearest one and they have a really good livestock tracking system and it'll just tell you this is this is weird so the material itself on the box i know this is a weird thing to fixate on but like all the other like catalyst boxes they're they're like glossy but this is like matte with the kind of gloss emboss which you can kind of see on the vindicator there by the way i love this vindicator and the art it, it looks good it's it's the business all right so so here's your universe primer so it just just kind of like if you see this on the shelf and you buy it and you're like what's battle tech i don't know so there's that and then you have the box contents. So you have encounter cards, equipment cards, blah, 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 blah. Um, so not very dense. It doesn't seem like it's, doesn't seem like it's uh, gonna be that hard. You have the tokens. Now, you know what's funny? I give I give Catalyst a lot of shit for for acting like a bunch of bunch of amateurs, uh, like three guys in a trench coat masquerading as a proper company. Something that I give them credit for is the the cardboard quality on their tokens and whatnot is pretty decent. It's pretty decent, so I, I do give them credit for that. Especially when you look at like uh, look up a review for Legions Imperialis, the the new like eight millimeter scale. Horus Heresy game that Games Workshop does. Look at those order tokens, which are things that you need to play the game, and they're like half as thick as this. They look like they look like they're just paper. So the fact that we do get this bigger, thicker gauge cardboard, good on Catalyst, good on them, because that really does make a difference in the play experience. So, um, so you get patronage token, censure token. So I'm assuming censure token is bad, patronage is good. You get the nice different values. Then you get, oh wow, you get big. Oh my hairy arm. There we go. So you get 
very colorful dice. Mm -hmm. So you get some, you get some greens. Packet, ooh, silica. Ooh, I get to, I get to eat these for a little snacky layer. Good. Um, so you get, you get basically four of each. You get four white, four blue, or because this is white. No, this is green. So you get four white. Four whites. There we go. There are the white dice. I are have good. All right. So four white dice, four black dice, four yellow dice. So there you go. Those are your dice. So you can a nice little, little compartment and just to make sure there's nothing underneath here. Nope. Just cardboard. Good. That's odd. Usually you would think they would include like a little uh, discount code because that's what they do with the uh, the beginner boxes or the essentials box is they give you like a little like uh, 10 or $20 off their uh, Catalyst web store thing. But it uh, looks like it's not here. So, hmm. all right. So let's take a look at, let's take a look at these. So command cards or combat commands. So basically... Like, I'm a mercenary. I'm gonna fight for Wolf Dragoons. <laughs> Grey Death Legion. You mean Grayson Steamboat Willie? <laughs> Calhounds. I am the Jesus Mech. 21st Sertorial Lancers. I don't know enough about them to make fun of them. Airy Danny Light Horse. Um, uh, something something. My Little Pony. Uh, Northwind Highlanders. Uh, something something. The Scotsman from Samurai Jack. McCarran's Armored Cavalry, War, War Crimes of Palooza, and the Waco, Waco Rangers? Really? Hmm. Yeah, they're brown. <laughs> brown like the shit they are. <laughs> so there we go. So those are, your, those are your combat commands. So I assume that um, upon reading of the rules, you have to like choose one of these as like you're starting, and that's why it makes it like a like a group or like an independent, uh, not an independent game, but a uh, a group or a um, solo experience that you can do. So there's that, and then we got we got these, which are your encounters cards. So recon lance, recon lance. So you get, okay, so maybe, oh, okay. So maybe, so here, let me see if I can't get this better. There we go. Be one lance. Okay. Oh boy. Clan Light Fire Nova. Ooh. Oh my. That's spicy. Okay. Art's really good. Uh, they've reused a lot of art assets from uh, other, from their ex a lot from their existing stuff. I'm not seeing a whole lot of unique art to this. Um, it does look okay though, because uh, all the all the art, for all my misgivings about Catalyst, is the art has been uh, done exceptionally well. Um, I've, I've really been enjoying their art direction so. All right, so I see, so your encounters, your... Okay, so this is just like things that you could run into. Oh God, you can run into a level two. You know things are sideways when you're a mercenary lance and, or a mercenary company and you come across some either Word of Blake or Comstar, that's some bad juju just in general. All right, so we got Berserker Lance. Oh, okay, that's a, all right. Yeah. There's poor last. So okay, so nothing. So I am assuming these all have things that happen um, that are relevant to the way the game plays. Uh, again, the art's really, really good. Um, so I am assuming that you shuffle these into a deck and then you uh, throw them into and then you, you pull you pull them from from a deck to like create a combat encounter that you have to then go through based off of your uh, contracts. So I think I almost want to do like a see if I can figure out how to if I can read the rules if I 
if I'm able to actually interpret them enough. I want to see if I can actually like stream like how to play this. I think that would be amusing. So, oh my god, this this card deck is defying all attempts for me to. There we go. All right, so have to break out the exacto knife. All right, here we go. So these are contracts. Okay, contracts, encounters, encounters, contracts. Okay, I don't know. And then equipment. Okay, gotcha. So you get your. Oh, look at you! Look at you! Look at you, BattleTech Encounters, introducing special ammunition. That's cool. Okay, so this is like stuff to make your, I assume, to make your ba your base command thing better. Um, ooh, that's really good. Power grid raid. You may add up to two to all rolled yellow dice. Okay. Supply chain raid. Oh, okay. So these are <laughs> equipment cost minus one C bill, but cannot be maintained. Can't have shit in Detroit. Look at that. They did the mean. All right. Well, excellent. Look at that. That's cool. You get all the big, all the big planets, all the big counters and things and you know various different okay so I'm, I'm I'm I think I'm starting to track so you so you pull a contract right so this is just me speculating so you pull a contract and then you pull um, you pull like opposition or something like that and then once you pull opposition, you resolve that using the the modifiers on both the cards, on both the cards and uh, the other thing. And then you use the equipment cards and you pay C bills for it, which would explain the C bill tokens here. Uh, okay, okay, I'm tracking, I'm tracking. All right. Well, this is going to be interesting. So that's all that's in the box. There's really not much to it. Um, Thirty bucks. Uh, box size is probably about a third of a standard Battletech mock, so uh, this would be a good, like, time waster if you're on, like, a long, uh, like, a long train ride, or uh, if you're, a uh, long train ride, or if you're doing something that's, you know, takes a long time to get between places to the other, or you're just kind of like a party game. It's pretty, pretty harmless, pretty lightweight, which is fine. That's all it needs to be, so, um, I'm looking forward to, to getting this one looked at, and I'm going to go through the catharsis of punching through. These punch really well. Watch this. Oh, oh yeah. Yep, there we go. But yeah, it's good. It should be fine. Um, looking forward to it. We'll see what happens. Um, I've had a lot of time to think about my relationship with this game. And uh, we're gonna see how things go in the next uh, year or so, and we'll go from there. So hopefully this was informative. Like I said, I apologize. I don't really know that much about the game itself because I haven't had a chance to read the rules because this literally just came out today. As you can see, I literally just took it out of the plastic. So I'm hoping this uh, will be useful in as far as showing you guys what to expect. It's a, it's a zero miniatures, it's a zero miniatures buy, um, but it's probably going to be like a good solo or party game. So if you're like one of those things where you can't get to your LGS to play a game of Battletech, or if your friends are all occupied, you can play with yourself, which I'm sure most Battletech players are intimately familiar with doing. Uh, thanks very much, and I'll have some more reviews here coming shortly. Have a great day.